Okay, so lately I've been getting the question, how does the 8015 by Cold Steel compare to the MG8015, and how does the 8010 compare to the Custom 8010? We've already answered those in some previous videos. Then they ask me, how do these two compare to each other? Which one should I buy? Which is what this video is going to do. And then, why did she, why doesn't she love me anymore? And that's probably, you're going to think it's the toilet seat thing or the sock on the floor thing, even the burping in front of company thing. And it's not. It's because you're a Cowboys fan. Sneak preview. If you don't want to watch the entire video, this is the one I choose. Now watch the entire video. All right. So we can get this out of here. And we can get this one out of here. And we've already compared these to the others. So we'll just check out the comparisons between the AD15 Cold Steel and the Cold Steel AD10, which are right here. <laughs> oh man, I love the AD10. I love the AD15 as well. All right, so we can check them out. They're both going to have the same steel on the blade, so we'll get that out of the way. A little S35 VN. Now, one of the difference is there's a hollow grind on the AD10. Can you kind of catch that a little bit? As opposed to the saber grind that is on the AD15. I don't know a lot of people that are going to be in the middle of a task and go, oh man, I wish I had that saber grind or oh, I wish I had the hollow grind. But there is a difference. I would say that the hollow grind makes it a little more slicier on this AD10. Oh man, I'm so glad I got that in today. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at the overall length. I think it's about the same. One, two, three, right at three and a half there on the AD10. Let's check out the AD15 here. One, two, three. Yeah, just a little, maybe a tad longer, like an eighth of an inch longer. So, but, but basically 3.6, something like that on the AD15. Now you look at the handle, the handle is noticeably longer on the 8010. Check that out. We'll check out the differences here. Close this up so I don't cut my fingers off. One, two, three, four, right at five inches, five and an eighth inches of handle on. Is that right? That seems awful big. Let's check that out again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five inches on the eighty fifteen, and one, two, three, four. Near. Well, if you count the little butt thing here, one, two, three, four, five, five and a quarter. So I said noticeably different, but I guess it's not. Maybe I had them lined up the wrong way. No, I guess it's a pretty close. Now, if you line them up that way. From like there to there, you can still see about a quarter inch difference, but not too bad. Well, I mean, if you count the little tang here on the blade. All right, now one of the big differences, of course, is going to be the lock. The lock on the 8015 is the Scorpion lock, and that's disengaged thusly. So you just pull back on that yoke, and you pull back on the pull down on the blade and you get it like that and of course this is the triad lock man you see what i did to that thing try to beat this thing up it did not work so i would choose the triad lock over the scorpion lock just for strength and just because i'm used to it a lot more but the scorpion lock is awesome handle wise i like the way this feels in hand a bit better even though i got some chunky fingers it still is very comfortable not that this is not this is this is really comfortable as well and you got that four wheel troil on both of those in case you got to get up and do some business <clears throat> now look across the back it feels a little bit chunkier you can tell it's a little bit thicker on the 8010 and just how wide it is through here it doesn't interfere anything it feels kind of like holding a like what it feels like to feel like a uh, four max and this is just a different experience because of the way it's broken up and broken down but it's not uncomfortable at all and now you got a little bit more of these jimping breaks up here on the thumb on the 8015 
then you do the 80-10. I like that a lot. I wish there was a little bit more, maybe a couple more right through here on the 80-10 just for that up close work that you would do with that. Check that out. All right, you got the smooth out G10 on here and the rough G10 texture on here. You're gonna have stainless steel liners on the 8015 with the aluminum yoke, and you're gonna have aluminum liners on here, stainless steel clip on both of those. So I guess the question is, now the blade is a little bit wider on the 8010, you can check that out. You can see the difference there. The question is, and the, what I'm really asked the most is, which one would you buy? If you can only have one, which one you buy? And when I first opened these, it was a little bit closer, but the more I get used to them and use them more and hold them more, it's it's not really close to me. I love the 8010. I love the way this feels. And even though the 8015 is a great knife and it's got that unique scorpion lock and it's very fidgety, if I had to have one of these, just because of the strength of the lock, because of the way it feels in my hand, and I like the way it looks. I would go with the AD10 as my choice for if choice of buying just one of these. If you only had the money for one, I would go with the AD10. However, if you have something similar, if you have like an ultimate hunt or something and you want to try something different, the AD15 is not a bad substitute you're not going to be totally upset about it you're not going to have the 8015 go to your buddy's house and feel his 8010 and just go home and throw this in the trash you're not going to feel bad like oh i messed up it's a different type of knife it's a different kind different feel but the same overall kind of satisfaction you're going to get out of a real worker knife with a really good steel and made by a company knows how to make indestructible blades all right, so I guess that's it. So the final answer is 80-10 over the 80-15. Save you 10, 15 bucks and get you this one if you're only gonna get one of them. If you're gonna get two, well, there you go, get two. Let me know what you think. What is your decision? Do you have these? Do you have both of them? Do you have one? Do you want the other? Do you have an Ultimate Hunter and you're thinking about getting one? Do you have a Four Max and you're thinking, oh man, I should really I should really get into this 8010 because of the Formax. Let me pull out the Formax. Because I'm always looking for a reason to pull out the Formax. Where is this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time. This thing. Get you a Formax. And then get you one of these or one of these. So there you go. But the, the 8010 is awesome. The 8015 is great. Just a little bit of comparison here. The only reason I'm doing this is because I was asked this question a lot, which one I get. So this is the final answer for that question. Don't contact me anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Contact me if you want to. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Have I made the right decision? Is this the choice you would have made? And do me a favor, like here, subscribe there, hit the notification button down there to get the bell and then check out the rest of these videos here. And I will talk to y'all later.